What's going on my dudes one step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Natara in Mortal Kombat 1 Giving you some tips and tricks you need to know some best strategies and of course some fun and easy combos that you can use today Take it one step at a time Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we use so everybody knows what we're talking about. Mommy Vampire Natara is back and better than ever and goddamn does she got some sauce to work with. So let's go over her normals and her specials including her overheads and her mix up and she's got some great options. She has a lot of air tools so a lot of her air hits are going to be an overhead of course. An overhead combo ender she's got is a four to one two combo that is an overhead but it's kind of a, an ender in a way right like you're gonna end a combo with that more than anything what's cool is natara has this combo that's back to four and you can actually just stop and just do the back two now keep in mind you're gonna see this back two we're in the air so while we're in the air that's we can actually do air specials while in the air we're only a foot off the ground but we're still in the air so for an example just show you real quick she has an air special her down back four in the air this dive kick well you can do that dive kick after that back two because you're in the air enhancing the down back two in the air pops you up for a combo so guess what back two while we're in the air enhance the down back four boom we got a combo starter and you can either jump and do air combos or just continue the combo on the ground from there i like to go in the air and the back two does got pretty good reach on it. Look at that. We just started the game. We're going to restart. Step forward. Boom. We are that, we're right there. Though Natara excels in the air. I mean, she's the only character that's got wings in the game. So, of course, she's going to be in the air. She's only got two really good options in the air. You see right there, we got one, two, four. And we scroll down a little bit. We have two, four, two. Both are cancelable into specials. And both are pretty good options. Of course, depending on your situation and kind of what combo route you want to go into. So, for an example, let's go ahead and do Natara's one two one two combo that puts our opponent in the air so we'll do one two one two put them in the air and show you the combos in the air and kind of what direction they can go in for combos so let's go ahead and do our one two four combo in the air i'll show you this it puts them on the ground but it pops them up allowing us to fly forward and do our back forward two special move but here's how that looks now we're going to do our two four two in the air As you can see, they kind of stay in the air, but again, we have our back forward two special move in the air that we can just cancel from that air combo. So to show you the whole thing here, we'll do our two forward two back forward two and catch them there, we got it. So again, it kind of just depends on like, you know, what you're feeling, what you want to do. A quick tidbit is in the air after your one, two, four air combo, you can enhance your down back forward dive kick to continue more combos. And here's how that looks. So those are some main combo routes you're probably going to be using with Natara in the air. Now, when it comes to lows, Natara doesn't have a ton of options for low starters. So you might want to use a cameo that's got a low move. But she does have her 3-4 combo that is more of an ender. But it's still a low to throw your opponent off guard. Though her sweep is really good. It's got good range and it's forward moving, meaning you can be pretty far away. Do your back four and still hit that low as well. Your most formidable combo starters are your 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two, your 2-2-1. Two, two, and that puts you in the air. So really... Really your best option there is your back forward two in the air like so and of course enhancing that gives you more combo extension not only does Atara have her back two normal that puts her in the air but her neutral three kick there again you're only foot off the ground but you're still in the air allowing you to do air specials so if we hit our three we can go back forward two and go from there it's just really cool that some of natara's normals put her in the air allowing you to do air specials now when it comes to wake up attacks natara has really she's got a couple options but her best one's going to be her back forward one her only form of a projectile in a way she just kind of spits blood on you now what's cool about that that gains armor when you enhance it but it also deals damage over time if you have blood sacrifice active what's blood sacrifice you're down forward four special move right here so if we have blood sacrifice then we had to do back forward one that's gonna do damage over time. Not only that, but if you enhance your blood sacrifice, we heal ourselves. You see, as we're close to our opponent, we are just taking their essence, taking their blood, and we are healing over time. So a good strategy is throw that out there, enhance it, and you wanna go for the combo and heal yourself the entire time. But don't forget, using blood sacrifice, you're down forward four, it does hurt you. It takes away 50 of your own health, so you might not wanna do that if it's a very, very close game towards the end. Interesting side note is while blood sacrifice is active, she gains a special move back forward three, 
a bit slow on startup, but again, you are in the air from there, allowing you to cancel into air special moves. So blood sacrifice, back forward three, back forward two, possibly. It's something you really want to mess around with and see, okay, where and when should I do blood sacrifice? When should I enhance it? It's going to be more of a situational thing, but it's definitely a staple in your kit and you don't want to just forget about it. Natara's got wings. She's going to be in the air, which means she's the only character that has air cancels, air dashes. So L2 in the air allows Natara to dash forward. She can dash back. She can dash down. She can dash up. She's got a double jump for Pete's sake. If you want to spend a bar, you can actually dash twice, allowing you to go over your opponent that's trying to maybe zone you out or something. But it does cost a bar, so make sure it's worth it. But yeah, she can jump forward, psych, dash backwards in case you made a mistake. She can jump over projectiles, dash forward, then get in their face. She can get on the ground faster in case you see your opponent going in for an air attack. It's a really good utility that you really want to utilize and just keep your opponent guessing, you know, where are you? What, what are you going to do? Where's she going to be? A great strategy is jump in and bait out an anti-air and then when they whiff it, go and punish them. One of my favorite things to do. Now for some fun and easy combos that you can start using today. Guys, let me know what you think of Natara down below. Do you like her? Do you hate her? Do you gonna main her? Let me know your thoughts. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.